Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another monthly plan with me. I am going to plan out the month of October. I know I am super late in this, but what I am trying to do is wait towards the end of the month or close to the end of the month to actually plan so that way I can write everything that had happens during the month while I'm planning out because we all know I hate my penmanship and if I could use sticker instead of that I will definitely love it more <laughs> so in front of you well in front of me should I say and what you're looking at is the actual kit from Temple of Craft this is her October one she has of course two to choose from but this is the one that I chose for this recollection planner and I did chose the other one which is a personal plan with me personal plan with me a personal planner um, kit and that I will do as well before the end of the month so I also pulled some other stickers from her shop as well because I want to incorporate more than just her kit I want to definitely have this month looking different and if I like it what I have in my head that is if I do like what I am planning to do then I'll continue that towards the rest of the year and maybe so forth and so on. I have here this gold floral washi that really does match the florals on the kit itself. I want to incorporate some foiling in this spread and to do so I'm going to pull some from these two mommy books here as you can see. I don't have foil um, stickers. I don't really what should I say? I haven't really jumped into the bandwagon of buying foil stickers because I manhandle everything. And I know for a fact by watching other plan planner videos that is that they are super sensitive and they will crack. And since I do manhandle, like I said, I'm afraid that I'm going to ruin them before I even get to use them. So that's why I haven't really ordered any and I haven't really dabbled into the foil um, kits or foil stickers yet. So I'm going to actually do the plan with me as a voiceover so that way I can definitely concentrate what I'm planning out to this new style that I have in my head and I'll get back to you when I am done planning. So if you want to see how I plan out this month, please go ahead and stay tuned. So guys, I misplaced my external mic, so I am using my laptop internal mic, and I'm hoping this sounds good enough that you can understand what I'm saying, and if there's any background noise, I am so sorry, because like I said, I did lose, not lose, misplace my external mic. So, um, as you can see, I love how Temp does her monthly kits. I've been using it since February. But this is the part that I wanted to talk about. I don't utilize my sidebar at all and I wanted to start doing so at least half of the stickers that she provided because I don't want to be wasteful. So I figured I could either put down the movies that I'm watching this month or shows and or books or anything at least so that I could utilize it. So I wanted to put this gold washi here to add it to my sidebar since I am going to incorporate it in my spread. I also wanted to keep my November view, monthly view there. So I um, just covered up September with one of her full boxes that is provided in the kit. So now I'm going to go ahead and take out the little strip of her blackout strips for like holidays or whatever, not holidays, like road trips or vacation and I use the single one here as you can see it was a perfect fit to cover up November and it's green that came underneath the wording of November. So moving on to the first, I took a piece of the foil washi, tear it up there to have like a little torn effect. And I layered on top of there my Boxy Charms Dew sticker that I created for myself just to get a little pop foil behind it. Moving on to the second, I used these cute bow um, half boxes from Tuck My Craft. And I used that there to denote that I had sushi dinner with my daughters. And so, yeah, I used these stickers from Fabulously Planning. And now let's go ahead and move on to the fourth. The fourth I had issues because. 
it's just my rent is due and I always use um, like a little flag and the little house sticker from Fan and Southern but I also forgot that this day was an early dismissal for my son so I needed to bump everything up so that way I can fit in his sticker along with a sticker that I pulled from the mommy book which I'm cutting right now um, just to take the color off which says note to self So for this month, I had two birthdays to denote, and it was like two of my favorite people. So I am going to start trying to decorate or trying to make it look nice. On the sixth, I have my favorite cousin from my mom's side of the family, Wanda. It was her birthday. Happy belated birthday, Wanda, if you're watching this and know that I miss you and love you. So I put some of the washi in the background of the label and used banana bananas really <laughs> I use balloons from Templar craft and later on off camera I will attach a cake I'm pulling out here as you can see the remaining of the pumpkin spice kit from Beck Lucas planner shop because the colors are similar to this kit and I wanted to incorporate some of her stickers so here I'm taking an appointment label to denote that my son had a haircut and I am going to use the money sign icon for that Moving on to the 8th, I did groceries, so I wanted to mark that down with a block out sheet and a grocery bag from Planet Southern. So let's go ahead and move on to the 9th. The 9th, my cell phone was due, so I am going to use this old-fashioned phone that I love from the Planner Coffee House and use the washi strip um, torn again as a backdrop for it. And I am also going to use a little star sticker from the Mommy book as well. So now moving on to the 10th, the 10th I have three things to uh, denote, one being that my lights for recording came, which was an Amazon package, and this is from Planning on Point, and also my Netflix was due, and a new bill that I need to remind myself that needs to be paid, which it does pull out automatically, but I want to denote that I did pay for it, which is my Pick Monkey bill. So now let's go ahead and go on to the 11th. The 11th, I got my first bill due of my household bill, which is my light bill. So now on the 13th, even though it says Friday 13th, it was a good day for me and my family. Um, my cousin's murderer was arrested, and yeah, it was a good day. So moving on to the 14th, I had a date night. So I used this little heart um, circle sticker. It's not little, but big from the mommy book and I'm using a date night sticker from my planner envy so after I just finished zooming you in a little closer so you can see better I'm just putting down my car insurance that was due on the 15 now moving on to the 16 I wanted to denote that I have to also remind myself that my Exxon radio is being pulled out on that day moving on to the 17 I had a doctor's appointment but I just put this label there and moved on because I didn't know how to actually decorate for that on the 18, my cable bill was due, and on the 19, I had another doctor's appointment, but I wanted to make sure that it sticked, sticked, stood out. So I used some of this washi strip, and then I got a little doctor's appointment clear sticker from the Mommy book. And I did the same thing with the 17 when I went back. So let's go ahead and move on to my second birthday and the special birthday of the month, which was my mom's birthday. So I am going to put a, this full block, which is a nice floral pattern there for that day to cover it all up. And I put back the OMG with the heart sticker that I got from the mommy book. And I am also going to put a bouquet of balloons to denote her birthday as well.
So on the 21st, I wanted to start designing some printables. So I'm using this leftover flag from the pumpkin spice kit. And I am going to put this design sticker here from Obsessed with Q, which is no longer a shop. Um, now let's go ahead and move on to, okay, the 16th. I forgot to denote that my son's cell phone bill was due, so I put that down. And on the 22nd, I put down that my gas bill was also due. Moving on to the 23rd. The 23rd was such, oh my goodness, a frustrating day because my portrait was not cutting. So I did a printable kit and then I couldn't even print them, well not print them, I couldn't even cut them out because my cutter was acting real funky. So I pulled out this uh sticker from the Mombi book and added the portrait from Obsessed with Cute and layered them all together. So let's go ahead and move on to the 28th. The 28th, my car note is due. So I'm going to use the sticker that I made for myself, but I am going to cover up the blue car with this icon so that it would match better. So moving on to the 31st, it's Halloween, so I'm putting the sticker that she provided, but I'm also going to layer some of the washi behind it. And I also found a sticker on, on in my mommy book that is foiled and says fun day so after I do some sticker surgery cutting around it I am going to layer it on top of the washi so this is how it looks opened and now you can see all the little foiling everywhere so what I'm doing here is using the two foil washies that I have one that I found that was a sample that one of my friends gave me a while ago and I'm just filling in some of the blank empty spots of the planner that had passed so that way it won't look so empty. So this is how the month turned out and I am actually liking a lot of the foiling that I did. Granted, it's just with washi tape, but I still like how it turned out so maybe I can actually I don't know, dip my little toes into the foiling craze that's going on now in the planning world. So yeah, I think it really turned out nice. I do, however, have a few more days left of this month because you're watching this on the 25th and I filmed this on the 24th. So yeah, but I will go ahead and continue to do what I'm doing here towards the end of the month. So as for my sidebar, like I said when I was planning it, I really do like how this looks now because maybe I can actually utilize the sidebar because if you look back in my last month, which was September, one, I didn't finish putting this in, so yeah, I got to backtrack, but I did not use any of the sidebar. Um, that's the word I'm looking for. I didn't utilize it at all. So I really want to start doing it. I could either do the shows that I'm watching or a movies that I watched this month. Anything like that because I really want to start using that portion of my planner. And I do like the fact that I left a little November here. The pre little preview of November. And even though it doesn't say November because I had to cover it because of the color. But I know of course that it is the upcoming month. So... I actually use this pink and gold uh, ribbon that I've been using a lot lately from Runway Craft Scissors. Like I said, she gave me that as a freebie and I am still using it because I really don't have much clips and I think the pink actually goes with the kit and of course the gold with the foiling. So I am really glad that I dipped into a different style for this month. So if you think that it was an awesome decision to switch it up, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And if you're not a subscriber, you just came by and saw this little thumbnail and wanted to know what was going on, if you liked it, please go ahead and subscribe. Be a part of my YouTube fam that I have here. It's growing daily and I cannot wait for it to continue to grow and grow. So I have nothing else to say besides I love each and every single one of you. Take care of one another and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.